नवतु सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीरकरवाहे तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु मावहे ओ शांति 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 ओं भद्रंकर्णे शुणियाम देवा भद्रम पश्ये मक्षजत्रा स्थिंग सुष्टुवागुंसस्तनु व्यशेम देवितयदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्र वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्वेदा स्वस्ति नो अरिष्टने स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओ शांत शांत शांति ओ नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो वंशर्षिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोप्लवरहित प्रज्ञान घन प्रत्यगर्थ ब्रह्मवाहमस्मी ब्रह्मवाहमस्मी ओ शांति 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 श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम अज्ञानतिरांद से ज्ञाजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम सुपर्ण सयुजा सखाया द्वा सुपर्ण सयुजा सखाया सनम वृक्ष परशस्व जाते सनम वृक्ष परशस्व जाते तयोरण्यम पिप्पल स्वादवत्ति तयोरण्यम पिप्पल स्वादवत्ति अनश्नो अभिचाकशीति अनश्नो अभिचाकशीति we saw last time dwa suparna these two birds with beautiful wings with both are conscious beings you know dwa suparna sayuja sayujo they are always united they are always together when one is there the other is always there that's their nature समानम वृक्षम परिशस्व जाते बोथ ऑफ देम आर सिटिंग ऑन द सेम ट्री द ट्री इज टू बी अंडरस्टूड एज दिस फिजिकल बॉडी द ग्रॉस बॉडी इज अ ट्री एंड ऑफ कोर्स संसारा आल्सो इज अ ट्री ऊर्ध्व मूलो वाक्शाख अश्वत्थ अव्यक्त मूल क्षेत्र प्रगम एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा वॉट वी सॉ इन कठो उपनिषद or in the 15th chapter that samsara tree body is also tree and the whole samsara is also tree the roots are above and below that means the roots are penetrated all along the primary root is most exalted in that sense it is above it is karanam and below is a secondary root additional roots in terms of karma and karma phala this karma and karma phalas are born out of karmas so karma becomes a secondary root but karma itself is born out of desires strong desires so desires become secondary root 
but desires are not born independent they are born out of ragadveshas therefore they become secondary roots but ragadveshas itself are not the secondary roots the desires are not there can be non binding desires prajahati yada kaman sarvan partha manogata wise men can be free from all the desires so <laughs> binding desires are the root and binding desires stems from the self judgment that i am insufficient i am incomplete and that judgment comes out of ignorance so ultimate root is avidya and secondary root is karma and karma phala pippalam atti you know a pippalam swadu atti one bird very clearly or very vividly experiences varieties of the fruits having varieties of the test on the tree here the fruit sees in a sense of happiness and unhappiness various degrees of happiness and unhappiness varieties of emotions in terms of joy sorrow frustration pleasantness etc and then it the jiva that is a jiva bird who experiences it undergoes certain degree of longing and it has certain appetite and it undergoes certain changes in a anashnan anyo avichakati avichakashiti ananya anya anashnan the other one the one who is <coughs> witness to the jiva bird he sits in every body without partaking any experience without having any any eating any fruit in terms of sukha or dukha so it is just a, therefore it is called as witness it is not a witness in a sense that we took it take it a witness witnessing is an action and the witness that if there is a witness then there is something called witnessed there is sakshi saksham and process of witnessing the kriya of watching sakshi kriya so it is not in that sense this is called sakshi it is called sakshi because it is not involved in it right word is it doesn't get affected by it okay irony is it is involved in spite of being involved it is not involved <laughs> how without that the anya 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 other bird this eating bird cannot eat without the help because it is a very thing that provides him the satta and spurti but existence and sentiency to the jivatma is given by the self as though self which is satchit it is borrowed from satchidananda atma that is there so in that sense it is involved being the substratum but it is still not involved how it is vivarta upada it is asanga substratum like even the light on a movie screen whatever takes place on the screen it is only because of light without light nothing can take place hero cannot the existence of hero in a movie is because of light the movement of hero is all because of light various situations that hero undergoes the situation that the, the, the story of the film unfolds they are all because of the light but the light is unaffected is uncontaminated untouched if there is a fire hero might get burned or how hero scar or, or whatever something can get burned but not the light that is called anashnan avichakashiti <laughs> so sakshi word or status of being sakshi is imputed 
on Atma to explain that it is a very substratum. With that, that to point out that it doesn't do anything. And in spite of it not doing anything, it is that because of which all things are happening. Okay? So Jiva is conscious because of the consciousness. And it is a reflected consciousness in the mind. What we call it as Antakkarana Avachinna Chaitanya or Antakkarana Upahita Chaitanya that consciousness somehow takes itself to be the size of Antakkaranam and thereby through the size of body-mind complex that is a jiva and the status of jivatvam is apparent or mithya. Okay? This is called my and Ishwara also is mithya. That is because of Maya Upadhi and this is because of Avidya Upadhi. How and why there is no answer. Exactly like a sun getting reflected in a mirror takes itself to be of the size of the mirror. When it assumes that I am of the size of mirror, why it took it that size and that shape? Whereas it is not only confined to mirror, outside also is sun. Sun is everywhere. In spite of that fact, somehow it takes itself to be that. That is a jiva. The antakaranam, the consciousness, you can say reflected, but not real sense reflected, okay? <laughs> the manifested. The consciousness that which expresses itself in antakaranam becomes the jiva. And that jiva, the manifestation of this ignorance is in the form of enjoyership and doership, kartrutva and bhoktrutva. Avidya is in a way non-tangible, non-quantifiable, or, or it is subtle, karana shariram. It is a karanam even for subtle body. It's very subtle. But the manifestation of avidya is in a sense of enjoyership and doership. That enjoyership and doership, bhoktrutva and kartrutva. Okay? So when the no is, is, is jiva. Now please understand. Okay? This kartrutva and bhoktrutva is mithya, is superimposed. You have been hearing all this. Now, if it is superimposed in the wake of knowledge, that which is born out of ignorance or that which is superimposed should go away. Like even the rope snake. When the snake is superimposed on the rope and when the knowledge takes place that this is rope only, the snake disappears for good. The snake continues till the knowledge takes place. Once the knowledge takes place, after knowledge, the snake is no more there. But this year, the doership, enjoyership will not go away. Please understand. There is a difference here. The consciousness being all pervasive, unconditioned by time, space, etc. <laughs> Antakkarana being there, as long as the prarabdha is, Antakkarana will be there. And that Antakkarana, which has a capacity to reflect the consciousness, it will continue to manifest as karta bhokta. Okay? Then, that what is the difference between the knowledge and ignorance? 
दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नॉलेज एंड इग्नोरेंस कर्तृत्व भोक्तृत्व विल कंटिन्यू बट द वाइज मैन नोज दैट कर्तृत्व इज ओनली इंसिडेंट भोक्तृत्व इज ओनली इंसिडेंट दैट्स नॉट माय रियल नेचर सो when you know the pot is clay you know there is nothing but pot clay what is pot is superimposition of a name and form on the clay but having known that clay doesn't disappear having known that there is no sunlight sunrise and sunset that perception of sunrise and sunset continues similarly wise men knows that status of being karta and bhokta in myself is only incidental in other words transactional reality as they call it vahavarika satyam like even the kingship on the part of a actor who is playing a role in a theater actor knows that kingship is only transactional what is transactional that person as long as he is on the stage wearing a particular role playing a particular role he or she needs to conduct as a king but kingship is only stage transactional not beyond the stage it is vyavhar so also wise person having gained the knowledge there is as though king which was real king formally similarly when suppose he went went uh, little off and started identifying himself with the role and started behaving as a king conducting as a king as a real king thought that i am a real king that is the his problem but when he realizes ki yeah, i am not a king this is only transactional reality the kingship is there he says hum aa rahe hain hum ja rahe hain in a plural the royal we we shall come and we shall go and all that with a different tone and different attire <clears throat> different setup all that may be there but it is as though outsider may feel it is real he makes it so real that people watching get into tears <laughs> seeing him with that dress and with this cry and with this satire that he was he is placed in in the cry but he himself doesn't cry because for him the kingship is as do so from the samsara point of view wise men will continue as an ordinary person as he was before but for him or her the manliness or womanness manliness or womanness swaminess or swamininess etc is as though he is incidental as long as this sukshma sharira is because the prarabdha is yet to come to end i have to conduct and play the role and therefore i will continue to play the role okay this is how the realities the jivatvam is superimposed on atma it is from atma only they are atma the jiva is atma but atma is not jiva the beggar is actor but actor is not beggar this clarity resolves the problem of samsara that incidental status 
as though status has a knowledge i am not really a doer pashyan shunvan sprushan jigran ashnan gachan pralapan visrujan unmishan nimishan api seeing listening talking going coming sleeping winking eyes etc all the way naiva kinchit karomi iti yukto manneta tatva vit wise person knows that i do not perform any action okay so there are the two birds are mentioned to because shruti wants to point out one is mithya another one is riya as of then why are you mentioning to mention only the real but that's a problem <laughs> as of now the mithya is taken as real to withdraw or to negate the reality of this mithya shruti creates a new satyam there is another word to withdraw to draw your attention to the reality of this mithya like when you say see only a snake in place of rope then you say no there are two things there is one is a snake another one is rope snake is poisonous this fellow thinks the teacher says rope is innocent not poisonous this two things are accepted only to negate the very first one which is mithya which is out of aviveka to dismiss the aviveka janya aham to dismiss agnana janya aham which is taken as real the imputation or adhyaropa of second thing atma is there as though there are two fellows jiva and atma and these two fellows are there and ultimately what the shruti wants to say that jiva is really free from enjoyership and doership but then even after knowledge that's how the creation is even after the knowledge that earth is not flat there is no sky touching the earth there are no twinkle twinkle star and there are no little star but they continue to appear as that you continue to speak the sun at we shall see you at sunrise oh i went to see sunset point but then sunset point you say sun doesn't set there is no setting and rising that knowledge is there so that apparent duality as though continues till the prarabdha comes to an end therefore shruti talks of two birds please understand there are no two birds it is only one consciousness which is taken as jiva there are no two things rope and snake it is only the rope which is taken as snake to negate that snake you say two rope and ultimately you discover that snake is not there similarly here the beggar is or beggar or kingship is taken as real by an actor that i am really a beggar he started behaving like a beggar conducting himself or herself as a beggar and to negate that beggarliness from him he is told there are two of you one is the beggar another one is anashnan avichakashiti one who doesn't enjoy any sukha dukhas and that is you but then the so called second is the substratum of the first and the so called first is purely purely superimposed on the second listen this to two sentences the two imagery of two birds is given it is not that there are two fellows inside <laughs> there is only one but the obtaining one as of now is ahankara obtaining one as of now 
is avidya janya ignorance born avidya caused that is obtaining one to negate that status of obtaining one as i second is imagine and to negate the reality of the second that there are no really two things what we call second is the first it is said anashnan abhichakashi it doesn't eat anything it just witnesses means that it just gives its own satta and spurti to it okay now the, because i am elaborating this because the question may come if ultimately you want to tell there is only not two birds why you start with the two bird there is no need to mention that there are two birds okay if there is only one atma but as of now one atma the i is an atma an atma has become atma and to negate the status of atma in an atma to negate anatmani atma buddhi there is second is given there is shruti says there is another bird which is the one so in other words you discover the mithyatvam of the obtaining i which is sanyoga atmana atmaha na sanyoga which is because of identification of atma and anatma the doership and joership is because of connection and that is there and that ahankara is there because it will continue as a transactional reality as an atma how the enjoyer is and doer is but then it is not the real the reality of doership and enjoyership is negated is the call it badita ahankar it is subletted sublation of reality takes place and and thereafter he continues to live as it is okay now please understand this taking these things literally some of the acharyas you know confuse what that there is a purushottam dva vimau purusho loke kshras chakshar evach kshras sarvani bhutani kutastho kshar uchyate uttamah purushastvanya paramatme tyudharuta yo lokatraya mavish etc etc they confuse that 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 akshara purusha is there akshara purusha is there the eating jivatma is is one witnessing atma is second and there is third uttam purusha that is bhagwan who is sarva shaktiman who is kalyan gana guna and then this witnessing bird is not separate from bhagavan is amshaka you know that is called vishishta advaita there is advaita but vishishta qualified non dualism that's what they call it that what is qualified and the irony is they say that atma is nirakar is nirgunam and that parmatma or uttam purusha also is nirguna and nirakar if it is nirguna and nirakar how are you going to divide that space has no attributes space has no form how are you going to divide space and if at all you divide that division ke it will be only apparent it cannot be real division <laughs> you create a wall of your apartment and say so i have divided the space this is your space this is your house means your space and outside space but that division is apparent in a sense that the apartment is within the space not that it divides anything formless cannot be divided 
anything attributeless cannot be divided. How does the divide division the create between the jiva and Ishvara? Hey. Atma and Paramatma. And then there is third jiva. You know, jivatma, Paramatma and Purna Purushottam. So Purushottam is above all. So when we say Jivishwar Aikya, they say it is okay, yours is okay, Purna, Uttama Purusha, but ours is Purushottama, the ultimate Purusha. Who is formless? Who is Asanga? Confusion. And they quote this. There are no two birds. It is a simile given to, to withdraw I-ness, to negate the I-ness that is there prevailing in aham, in anātma. Anātmani ātma buddhehe nishedhārtham to negate the I-ness from non-I. These two birds are talked about. And that I-ness as though continues in a sense the differences that is subletted I-ness. He or she knows I am really not, but transactionally I have to say like this. Nothing else. As I said the other day, Puja Swamiji used to go often to US and on the consulate, they, I mean, while immigration procedures, they don't know these names. So, what's your name? They would ask. So, Swami Dayan Saraswati, he would say. And he would repeat, oh, you are Swami Dayan and Saraswati. He would say, yeah, or I say, Paramatma. They will not say, oh, if they say, who are you? Niranjana, Nishkala, Niruguna, Chidrupoha must be bo. If I say that, <laughs> he would say, Atma is everywhere. You need not come to US, go back. <laughs> you go back to your own country. You know, that's how they will say. So, in a transactionally, you have to say what I am. So, the transactional ahankara continues. And now, once they make this mistake, Vishishtadvaita, there is a mithya bhimani, dehatadatmivan, ahankara. That is Pippalam Swadu Asti, the Jiva. And there is another one inside, Sakshi Chaitanya, Anastan Nanyo Abhichakashiti, so part of Paramatma. And there is simple Purshottam Paramatma, third one, who controls all this too. And then they say he loves also all this too. There is a controlling. Whom are you controlling? He said that Jivatma is Amsha. Nature-wise, same, but it is part and total. As I said, there cannot be division in formless. There cannot be any division which is attributeless. So if it is a Purushottama, whatever you call it, and in that Purushottama, if it is formless and attributeless, it cannot have any divisions. And that being a case, it cannot be controlling this Jivatma and inside Atma, two Atmas. They have not understood the Tatparya of the Shastra. And the third one is he loves you and keeps watching you also out of love. What do you do? You know, he doesn't give you privacy, as Swami Dhanji would say. He should be sued. Keeps on watching me from above. <laughs> That's a wrong thinking. Anyway, let's continue further. Mantra number two. Samadhe Samane Vrukshe Purusho Nimaknaha Samane Vrukshe Purusho Nimaknaha Anishaya Shochati Muhyamanaha Anishaya Shochati Muhyamanaha Justam yada pasyati anyamisham. Justam pas yada pasyati anyamisham. As anyamisham. Asya mahimanamiti vita shokaha. 
अस्य महिमानमिति भीतशोक समाने वृक्षे पुरुषो निमग्नो अनीशया शोचति मुह्यमान समाने वृक्षे पुरुषो निमग्न अनीशया शोचति मुह्यमान जुष्ट यदा पश्युष्ट यदा पश्यन्यमीशम अस्य महिमानमिति वीतशोक जुष्ट यदा पश्यन्यमीशम अस्य महिमानमिति वीतशोक निमग्न पुष ओके द फेलो हु इज संक द पुष दट हु इज सिंकिंग और संक यू कैन से ड्राउनिंग पुष दैट पुष दैट पर्सन यू कैन से हु इज ड्राउनिंग पुष शोचती इज ऑलवेज क्रीविंग वाय अनिशया शोचते आउट ऑफ सेंस ऑफ हेल्पलेसनेस एंड मुह्यमान हा बीइंग डिल्यूटेड दिस पुरुष हु इज ड्राउनिंग इन संसारा इज ऑलवेज ग्रीविंग बिकॉज ऑफ डिल्यूजन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ व्हाट ही सेज निमग्न ही इज एज दो ड्राउनिंग समाने वृक्ष ऑन द ट्री देर आर टू बर्ड्स दे आर सिटिंग ऑन अ सेम ट्री प्रीवियस मंत्र इट वॉज से स्वादुअति यू नो अन्यो तयोरेक स्वादुअति वन ईटिंग वन इज ईटिंग वेराइटीज ऑफ फ्रूट नाउ इट जस्ट गोज फर्दर आई एम ईटिंग दिट फाइन लेट मी कंटिन्यू ईटिंग इफ आई ईट वेराइटीज ऑफ फ्रूट वॉट्स रॉन्ग विथ यू वाई यू हेव प्रॉब्लम एंड अननेसरी ब्लेमिंग द संसारा एंड ट्राइंग टू पुल मी आउट ऑफ संसारा आई एम एंजॉइंग इट You know, so there are some people who argue. I don't want self-knowledge, boy. I don't want to get liberated. I am fine in this samsara. They think so. You know, they say. I think I don't think they think so, but they argue with me. <laughs> I am fine. Anyway, coming back to this, samane vrukshe, perching on the same tree. One is sunk and shows it. Mukhya mana ha anish. Eating alone is not the issue. Eating is caused by because of caused by shoka. Eating itself is shoka, and non-eating also is shoka. So it is shoka all the way. Grief. Is the call it before, after, and during? There is a grief all the way. And why this is caused? Then he says, "Momu shyamana ha anishya." That grieving is caused because of helplessness, which I find myself to be helpless. Right from childhood, which is legitimate helplessness. but the, that legitimate helplessness is only transactional in terms of reality i am not really helpless i am not really limited i am not really deluded the delusion or limitations or disturbances is only incident that's not my nature so anishaya helpless being helpless being deluded शोचती आत्मा महिमा यदा पश्यति 
when this fellow sees, this fellow knows, you know, or one recognizes anyam, one who recognizes the other. How does it recognize his other as isham, the mahima, the glory of other? Yada recognizes when the one recognizes the other, which is jushtam, adorable, worshipful, desirable, and which is isham, the Lord of all, and knows his glory, then becomes free from vitashokaha, becomes free from grief, becomes free from any shoka. The shoka is caused because of something. The what is the cause of shoka is told in the first line or the first sentence of the mantra and how to become free from shoka is told in a second line. So that chavi anya pipalam swaduvatti, that fellow who is eating the varieties of the fruits, the fruits are always bitter. <laughs> the fruits are always painful. The samsara is dukhat makamayeva. As long as that is not understood, it continues to be there. That it is dukhat makam should be seen as daylight and one needs to get out of it. But until one sees, one cannot do anything. So, how does he suffer? Shankaracharya ji beautifully writes, Samane vrukshe purushaha bhokta karta jiva avidya kama karma phal ragadi guru bhar akrant he is loaded with the load. What is a load? Avidya, Kama, Karma, Phala, Raga, Di is a heavy load of ignorance, desires, karmas, karma phalas, karma phala born new ragas, new dveshas, again new raga dvesha born new icha, new icha born new karma, new karma phala, new raga dvesha. Cycle goes on. That fellow is loaded with these three things. And therefore, avidya kama karma di bhi guru bharai alabuhu iva samudre nimagnaha. It is sinking. It is sunk, drowning. Like what? It is like they say, loaded bottle of grout. You know? Then apra tamburu kaiye. The or let's better example like green coconut. When they drink coconut water, they throw on sea beach the, the, the coconuts in the sea. And that coconut keeps on being flown hither and thither, thrown hither and thither. And it sinks and comes out, sinks and comes out out of the water, continues there. Like that, nimagnaha, it is sinking, it is drowning. Actually, it is not drowned, keeps drowning and coming out, keeps drowning and coming out. Meaning thereby, always or often in shoka, in between little happiness, that's all. Shoka, some happiness. Shoka, some happiness. No, as Swamiji would say, you know, formally he would say, Dukha, 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 Sukha, Sukha, Dukha, 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 so you must have heard, I guess, that that melancholy gazal wala, you know, what that uh, uh, that Jajit Singh. So he developed this. Melancholic tone, he will make it 
एन से दुख सुगर दुख लाइक दैट दैट इज कॉल्ड ड्राउनिंग नॉट कंप्लीटली ड्राउंड हाउ इट्स ओके टू हैव एन इमेजरी दैट कोकोनट green coconut is drowning and being tossed hither and thither and all that what do you mean to jivatma ah that is what he says very beautifully bhashakara describes dehatma bhavam apannaha ayam eva aham amushya putraha asya napta krushah sthulah gunavan nirgunah sukhi dukhi प्रत्यय नास्ति अन्यो अस्मादिति जायते मृयते संयुज्यते व्युज्यते च संबंधी बांधवै द सिंकिंग इज लाइक दिस ही और शी थिंक अनात्म भाव आपन्न दृग्दृश्यो संयोग भाव आपन्न टेकन इट से body mind complex and once you take yourself to be body that means all gun dharmas of the body becomes mind then he starts saying amushya putra ha amushya putri i am son or daughter of so and so i am brother of so and so grandson of so and so and cousin of so and so i am sthulaha i am heavy weight <laughs> i need to reduce <laughs> you need to reduce your ego okay you need to reduce your insistences let the body be what it is nowadays people are so conscious about the body but they don't see the heaviness of their likes and dislikes they don't see heaviness of their notions and ideas and values and thing like that All that is me, sthulaha, gunavan, nirguna, ityadi, evam pratyarupa. And thereby, mind is also I. So mind is sukhi, I am sukhi. Mind is dukhi, I am dukhi. Mind is jealous, I am jealous. Mind is frustrated, I am frustrated. Mind is cheerful, I am cheerful. Mind is helpful, helping, I am helping. All kinds of notions based on. no anya asmi andre i am not other than this this is my real identity this is your transactional identity that's what shastra says this is your incidental identity even from the law of karma you happen forget about atma you happen to born to given parents because of your karmas So incidentally, you are a son or a daughter. Otherwise, who is father and mother? Kāte kānta kaste putra samsar oya mati vavichitta kasyatam kaha kuta ayata tattam chinte tadiha brāta bhaja govindam bhaja govindam govindam bhaja mūda mati. That that identity as a jiva also is transactional. That's not really I. I am different. That is called. sink and because of that he is born and dies he or she is connected and separated jayate mriyate sanyujyate vivujyate with whom sambandhi bandhavai with relatives he gets connected and he gets separated and then he is born and so and then he dies that means shochati this is the cause of shok something more is to be seen we'll see next time my throat is not permitting me to talk anymore <laughs> om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadhaya purnam heva avashishyate शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम
uh, one announcement that tomorrow